member for Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. <laughs> Honourable Speaker, this government promised many times to release the new beer and wine prices to the hospitality industry last week. Of course, last week was already too late for restaurants that plan their purchases and set their budgets months in advance. But at least they were finally getting the information they need. But one more time, this Attorney General changed her mind and decided not to release that price list to, to the hospitality industry. It's not that she doesn't have the information. She's told the media many times she does. She just doesn't want to give it to restaurants or the public. Will the Attorney General release this information finally? Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, one of the results of the liquor policy review was we have done what industry has asked us to do for many years, and that separate the wholesale side from the retail side of the liquor distribution branch. And this is a rather major change, Madam Speaker. What this means, Madam Speaker, is that instead of having a retail price and working backwards, we now have a wholesale price that, reach, that, that liquor wholesalers are, that are move forward from. So, Madam Speaker, that has resulted in a shift in the way the prices have, are calculated, but what's important for consumers, Madam Speaker, for, for, the, for our constituents, for the citizens of British Columbia, is that prices are essentially unchanged. What is important as well, Madam Speaker, is that the various groups who need information have the information they need. The wholesale prices were released on the 6th of March. The hospitality industry gets through their suppliers, has had their uh, prices released the, uh, 10 days before the end of the month, which is when those prices are always released. Madam Speaker, th there is a shift. Liquor distribution branch is working extremely hard to make sure that people have the information they need, and they do. Member for Vancouver Point Grey on a supplemental. Honourable Speaker, this minister wants us to take her word on this, but we know that if prices were going down or staying essentially the same, there'd be a price list on every one of these members' desks. There'd be a free price list in every MLA's office. <laughs> but instead, but that's not what's happening. The price list is secret. This minister isn't releasing the price list. It's clearly not good news. It's going to be released just before the Easter long weekend. Given the quantities of beer and wine that restaurants buy, if prices go up even a little bit, it hurts their business. They've asked for a break on the full retail price of beer and wine. Why is this government making restaurants pay full retail price, plus whatever increases they're hiding in this price list? Yeah. Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, the hospitality customers have the information they need through the suppliers. They get it 10 days before the end of they've got it 10 days before the end of the month, which is when they get that information. But uh, as to this top secret list, let me let me uh, let the members of this house on another top secret, Madam Speaker. The prices are on the internet. Oh. And uh, Madam Speaker, for consumers. The prices that they will pay today are on the internet. And what's more, Madam Speaker, there's an app. There's an app. And on April 1st, the, if there's any shift in prices, those two will be on the app. So these top secret prices, Madam Speaker, they are very available to anyone, Madam Speaker. And as I said a moment ago, people who need the prices, the prices of the different industry groups and the consumers have the information they need to continue with their good business decisions throughout the course of this year. 